Hello there, everybody. This is Drunk Goomba 1645. Merry Christmas to you all. And F, uh, you know, F you haters. <sighs> okay. Today we are doing Operation Thunderbeak. <laughs> okay. That was pretty weird. Alright. And I'm hearing skipping, but whatever. Ah, damn it. I missed uh, dialogue. Whatever. Who cares? Okay. When I saw it. You know, Sly was the one who triggers the operations. I was dead wrong. You know, it really depends on who's actually executing the first part of the operation. In this case, it's going to be Bentley. So, let's, you know, for the second time, actually start this operation. Operation Thunderbeak. Come on, chum. Let's get to that water tower. Yeah, let's get to the water tower again. Well, again, for me, again, like I said, second recording attempt. First attempt, I was like in the middle of the operation when, uh, you know, my recording just plain stopped. You know, it just plain stopped dead in its tracks, and then, uh, you know, oh crap. Whatever. Thank you, Murph. <sighs> it's been a little while since I've, uh, Jump into my arms. you know, played you this there. game. Even though I've done this operation like twice already, you know. No, I'm just saying. Okay. <sighs> jump into Murray's arms. It's simple to do. Just jump, hit the circle button, and you'll land in his arms. I need to focus. Which valves do I turn to divert water pressure from the plasma? To change the flow of water through a valve, I should press the circle button. And to do so, you just need to do it once, and then you're good. And you need to turn all of the valves. Success! Sly, the water pressure to the fountain should be disabled. It's off, all right. They're already sending out the repair guy to fix it up. Think pocket the keys to his repair truck without being seen. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Okay. Next thing we gotta do is, you know, pickpocket the key from the guy, you know, to the, you know, the repair truck or whatever, and this should be simple enough to do. Uh, let's just ignore these guys. Oh, crap! They must have spotted me, damn it! Alright, run, run, run. Okay, that was a fail. Alright. Still spotted somehow, damn it! Uh, okay, okay, I gotta get to the roof. I gotta get to the roof, come on. There we go. Okay. The guard himself can't get up here, but the others can. So I'm gonna have to take these guys on. <laughs> that was easy. Okay. <sighs> that was simple enough. Okay, I gotta get back to my target, which is down here. And I'm gonna go this way. <sighs> Last time I did this, I didn't have very many problems. But, you know, this time, uh, I wasn't so lucky. <sighs> but still, no problems. Okay, head back to the fountain to make the exchange. Whew, that was kind of hairy if you ask me. But hey, you know, I've been in worse situations than this. Really. It's all you. Let's head out for the repair truck. <laughs> yeah, let's head out to the repair truck. <sighs> Now that the time limit has been lifted from me, you know, for my videos, you know, I no longer have to worry about the, you know, like I said, I don't need to worry about the time limit. Oh, crap, I've still been spotted. <laughs> wow, I didn't get spotted by him last time. Murray must have accidentally walked it into the spotlight. Whatever, everything's fine. You know didn't suffer really any casualties thanks to Murray actually being there as bait. I'll take the wheel. I know how to drive a stick ship. I need to get in position on top of the nightclub's peacock sign for phase three. Okay, now we're doing slice variation of the third phase. You know, after we exchange the keys. <sighs> to get up to where we gotta go, we just gotta go down here onto the wall and just go this way. <sighs> yeah. You're probably wondering how I'm going to be constructing these videos. Well, I'll tell you in a minute, because we got another cinematic. I 
I'm in position. Great. We're just driving up right now. Get ready to grab the tow harpoon. Okay. Uh, I accidentally <laughs> buried my controls the wrong way, so excuse me for a sec. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Again. Sorry. Hup. There we go. Bad shot. Or not. Okay, to fire, just push the X button. Hooks on. Pull away. Sly, the guards are on to us. Protect the truck. All right. Now we gotta protect the truck, cause the yeah, we gotta pull this thing down. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm already halfway dead. Ah, but thanks to that health recovery, I'm down three quarters. Full of health. Alright, we gotta protect this truck, you know, in order to successfully complete this operation. If the truck gets destroyed, it's a mission failure. You know, and we'll have to redo this phase again, I think. I'm not sure. You know, I don't think I've really failed this op you know, phase at all. Okay, the truck somehow sustained damage. That's not good. Yeah, maybe it got hit without my knowledge at all. Again? No. No, oh, really. Okay, how am I going to construct this, these videos no, now that I don't have a time limit anymore? It depends on the video content. You know, I'll split whenever I feel like it or if it's necessary. But still, I'm not going to completely torture you guys with like a three hour long recording. You know, don't worry about that. Behold the majesty of gravity and inertia. That was real subtle, Bentley. Okay. You jump in, grab the clockwork tail feathers, and we're out of here! Okay. Just a simple snatch and grab, and we should be fine. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully Dimitri won't give us trouble. And I hope my video recording doesn't give me trouble either. Gah! So raccoonas do this! Like totally bumming my house up and bringing me down. So very uncool. Why can't you let birds and bees be free, bro? Listen, Dimitri. You have no idea what you're playing with. It'll bring more than your house down. Look, bro. I see you are a tough cowboy. A man with taste, style, vision, a connoisseur of finer things. Like me. Look, I'm sure that two cats in a bag like us can work something out. Yeah? We smooth. Yeah? Look. See the money. You like the money. You can take all you want. I can. No deal. You and the rest of the clogging have to be stopped. Clockwork will never again see the light of day. Just hand over the tail feathers and we can. What is this with clocks, bro? Have you no vision? Are you hearing what I beam to you? You think you have juice? Don't show me a little mind when talking about such big things. You think you can swing the bat? Show your bling and let me shine you. I have no idea what you're saying. And your suit sucks. <laughs> let's dance! <laughs> oh yeah, let's dance indeed. Alright, so Dimitri is going to be a pain in the ass. And I really have no idea how to fight him! Okay, that hurt. <sighs> I'm just gonna fight him like I, you know, fight everyone else. Just beat the ever-loving crap out of him. Until I die, or he dies, whatever comes first. <sighs> so, ah, damn it! Got hit again. Uh, I think my video keeps stopping for some reason. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I think it's fine, but then again, I don't know. Oh crap! I'm almost dead. Damn. Uh, I gotta be careful here. Whoa. <sighs> Thankfully, the camera is kind enough to keep track of. Today where he goes. Ah, oh, man. Just as the health bar appeared. Is greasy sweet. Well, <laughs> that was an epic fail. Let's try this again. <sighs> Thankfully, we, would, we don't have to do the entire operation again. Uh, is there any way to dodge this crap? I'd like to know. You know, because seriously, I... You know, that's pretty much how I died last time. Oh. Okay. Oh, come on! 
Oh, come on, not again! Die, you son of a bitch, die! Whoa, okay, that was even worse. <sighs> the reason why I think my recordings have been stopping, I really have no clue! And somehow I actually successfully dodged his uh, electric gun for some reason. Ah, oh, man, I got hit. Whatever. Thank you, help. Oh, man. Oh, okay. I guess I'm waiting for him to fire. Oh, no. Not again. I wonder how many shots he fires before he, you know, he, you know, stops. God, this is the same thing that pretty much happened to me before with, uh... You know, mugshot back in the original slide. You know, stupid, you know, stupid crap. You know, I didn't know what to do until, you know, I came up with something like rolling around like a cute little hedgehog. Oh, man. Oh, come on. He's almost dead, and so am I. Yeah, we're pretty much on the brink. Oh, come on, come on. Come on, go down. There we go! <laughs> that was really close. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Painful. And my counterfeit in operation. It's past tense. I'm doing you a favor. What kind of thief prints money? There's no honor in that. You. Crackerbox! <laughs> well, there we go. We finally got the Clockworks Tail Feathers. And there we go. Operation complete. And the episode is finished. My gang and I had done it. The Clockwork Tail Feathers were ours, and Dimitri's counterfeiting operation was ruined. Due to the untimely arrival of Carmelita, my escape got a little tricky. Angry at having just missed me, she took it out on Dimitri. Shutting down the nightclub and throwing the frustrated forger behind bars. The gang and I headed out of town for a week in Monaco. Bentley wanted to try out his new card counting formula, and I figured the team had earned themselves a well-deserved break. Hmm. Wow, that was interesting. But, like I said before, I'm going to come back for whatever clues I missed at the end of the game. You know, after I complete the game, that's what I meant to say. But, yeah, enough about that. I'm at the 13 minutes and the 23 seconds. You know, before editing, you know, loading screens and crap. But, hey, that's just me. <sighs> you know, I can keep going if I want to, but I'm not going to torture you guys by doing that. So, this is Drunkoma1645, and I will see you all next time, probably after the holiday season, for when we begin Episode 2. See you guys later. Well, I thought the recording stopped again. Okay, anyway, see you later.